Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar looking at the new features in the latest release of Final Cut to version 10.06. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the brand new drop shadow effect. In prior versions, all we could put drop shadows on was text. Now we have the ability, we'll click the effects browser, type the word drop, Make sure all is selected. There's our drop shadow. Drop it on top. We'll just hide this. There are three presets for drop shadows. This is a traditional drop shadow. I would have preferred to be slightly offset to the right. We'll talk about that in a second. But I can say we have a perspective lit from the front, shadow falling behind like a cast shadow. We have a perspective front lit from behind, shadow falling forward. We also have custom. Let's go to the classic drop shadow. See this white circle here. If you grab the circle and drag it, you can change the position of the drop shadow by dragging it as an object. You want to make the drop shadow really offset, drop it here. You want to control the blur. The blur is controlled by dragging this button right there. It gets softer on the edges. You want to change the perspective. Click here. You can change the perspective. You want to make it look like it's sort of flaring out. Grab there, flare it out, grab it up. We now have a giant cast shadow on the wall behind. We can then go to these settings here. We can decide how opaque we want it to be. Just be a light shadow or make it positively black. Anywhere in between. These controls mirror what's inside the drop shadow setting itself, but it's really neat because now we can really change the perspective that we're working with and make it much more, oh, there we go, lit from the bottom, Frankenstein, change the position, do as you see fit. Very, very cool, very easy. Just select the clip, adjust it on screen in the viewer, or go over to the inspector. You want to reset it? Go back to classic drop shadow, it automatically goes back to its default settings. Or you can click the curved arrow. That's the symbol for reset in any parameter or effect that we work with. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the new features in the 10.06 release of Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz/store and look for webinar. 82.